Africa's hunters and nomads have tracked and mind mapped the African landscape since the dawn of time. The ancient art of tracking is the original human science. But today, Africa's hunter-gatherer and nomadic cultures face relentless pressure to abandon their ancestral territories and traditional lifestyles. Industrialization and climate change now threaten Africa's oldest cultures. But they are using modern technology to show that they are in this to adapt and survive. African hunter-gatherer and nomad representatives held a workshop in Namibia on ways to strengthen ancestral ecological skills and to fuse these with modern geospatial mapping techniques. Their aim is to enable hunting and nomadic communities to map the biodiversity and cultural resources of their ancestral territories. This will empower them in land disputes and contribute to the world database on biodiversity and climate change. The workshop was organized by IPAC, the Indigenous Peoples of Africa Coordinating Committee. Since time immemorial, what we have, you know, in knowledge, and we believe by bringing ourselves together here, we can be able to capture all that, and we can make, you know, a better Africa, and maybe an example to the rest of the world. When I looked at everybody yesterday, I thought all the African indigenous activists are all here, and I hope that when we go back home, we are going to really do a great job uh, towards, you know, putting the hour to implement some of the issues that we shall get from here. Um, IPAC is a, an indigenous people's network that is in 100 and uh, 50, that works with 150 organizations in over 22 countries. Je suis de la communauté Pelmbororo du Tchad. Les Pelmbororo sont des pasteurs nomades qui sont des éleveurs. Nous sommes des éleveurs pasteurs. On fait l'élevage sur des terrains très vastes. Ça veut dire que nous sommes confrontés à des problèmes de terre. We are the only ones that have been able to reach the very, very grassroots, the very, very vulnerable people like the hunter-gatherers, nomads and pastoralists that are all over in Africa. Je vais me baser en ce qui me concerne personnellement et en ce qui concerne ma communauté, la cartographie sur un lié qui n'a pas de relief, ça veut dire sur un lié à, à des dimensions comme chez nous. The workshop is going to be talking about a lot about the CBD and the climate change and these are very difficult topics. They are very difficult uh, issues usually at the international level. Maintenant on fait, on fait pour les trois dimensions une cartographie sur 25 km. Mais hors chez nous, 25 km, c'est pour un seul berger. Vu le nombre de nos, de nos bétails, vu les déplacements, vu les manques maintenant de pâturage, on se déplace sur des longues distances. Le workshop assembled pioneer trainers in geospatial information technology, including cyber tracker software inventor Louis Liebenberg and Giacomo Rambaldi of the Technical Center for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation in the Netherlands. The 3D modeling process, I would not talk only about the output, but the process in, is empowering people simply because uh, it, it, it coalesces people. People get together, work together, and they believe in themselves. And, and then uh, it, 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 people who consider you as illiterate, they see that you are a holder of a wealth of knowledge, and then they start respecting you. They start talking to you on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. Uh, tools like Cybertruck, participatory mapping, and 3D model they can actually help or they have potential to help indigenous people, particularly uh, Sun in Southern Africa and all other minority groups in, South, in, in Africa to advocate for their land rights and for their territories. And uh, in most, most cases, particularly the Sun people, is that their culture is so land-based and their land is now being taken away, they are taken, uh, they are kick, uh, taken away from their lands and then the culture is actually somehow dwindling and there is nothing that is... Uh, keeping it alive because the whole being is, is centered around the land. And the, the pen itself is a salty pen and it's now called Edosa. Edosa is meaning white lattice place in Otibambo, but we can say it Kupas. So Kupas we mean it's a good place. The information have come from our elders, which I have told you like Hans, Haneb, Gadis and Komo. Those is one of the good hunters. In those days, so those information, we go to them, ask them, 
and then they tell us or other questions like what was being done at that water hole and then he said that water hole was a small town for Bushman people before they go to another place they have to come there at least to drink water or at least to say hello for them and to pass through 